Hi, I'm Mark King, Investment Editor at Columbia Threadneedle Investments, and here's what's in my weekly column. First up, I delve into the contents of the Queen's speech last week. Each year, the Queen traditionally lays out details of the government's forthcoming legislation. This year's message contained a number of points that consumers and investors should take particular note of. That includes the Better Markets Bill, which is all about empowering consumers to switch energy providers and banks. But what will investors in energy companies make of it? The Queen also spoke of the legislation on sugar tax and the Modern Transport Bill, which includes new laws to make the UK the pioneer for driverless cars. What impact will all of these things have on the companies you're invested in? This week, I also look at the ways in which you can start teaching children about money. It's almost two years since personal finance was added to the national curriculum for secondary school children, but you can start teaching little ones even earlier than that. So don't miss my 10 tips for teaching children the money skills they will need to become tomorrow's investors. Finally, I look at one area of investment that the newspapers love to write about, profit warnings. A profit warning indicates that something has gone seriously wrong at a company. But what exactly is a profit warning? What does it tell us about the company itself? And what does it mean for us as investors? Of course, some profit warnings are worse than others. One company might announce that earnings are expected to come in just below analyst expectations. Others may announce that they're about to make a loss. So what should investors do if a company they're invested in issues an alert? More importantly, what do good active fund managers do? See you next week.